It's another beautiful day in Mahimba, Mozambique, and I'm hunting waterbuck with my good friend Gavin Ingram of Vanduna Hunting Safaris. We spent the best part of three days hunting this usually plentiful but strangely elusive antelope through the bush and haven't come close to getting a shot yet. We've tried covering ground quickly on the truck and hoping to spot a waterbuck and stalk him for a shot, but had no joy. We've set out on foot and covered miles and miles of ground in a small group in the hope of getting close without alerting him to our presence. We've glassed the landscape for hours on end. And despite seeing some beautiful animals, we haven't come close to a mature waterbuck bull. So far we've had no luck, but tomorrow is a new day. Waterbuck are a beautiful but large antelope native to sub-Saharan Africa. They stand 120 to 130 centimetres tall at the shoulder and their head and body lengths range from 140 to 240 centimetres. The males typically weigh in at 2 to 300 kilograms and their long spiralled structured horns sweep back and then point forwards. A waterbuck's coat is reddish brown and becomes progressively darker with age. They have a distinguishing white bib under their throats and white on their rumps. Mozambique is a country in southeast Africa that lays on the Indian Ocean and is neighboured by Tanzania, Malawi, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Swaziland and South Africa. With the bulk of the economy being built around agriculture, the country is mainly bush, scrubland and agricultural farms. Out in the bush surrounding the Zambezi River, Mozambique is almost completely flat and has little or no elevation for glass in the vast plains. Hunting in these parts relies heavily on covering ground. The foliage consists of mainly shades of brown and green in these parts, and so the native animals can be tricky to spot. There are also large areas with little or no cover that can make it very tricky to stalk in on an animal, as we found with our common reed buck. If you haven't already seen the full hunt report, click on the link now. For an epic hunt in truly wild Africa such as this, it's important to know you've got the right gear for the job. I brought with me my trusty Ruger No. 1 Tropical in 450-400 Nitro Express. This hard-working single-shot rifle is proven at stopping big game animals in their tracks and has worked perfect for me previously in South Africa as well as hunting black bear in Newfoundland. On top of that is my workhorse Zeiss Victory Davari 2.5-10x50. This durable scope has travelled the globe with me over the past few years and has performed flawlessly. It offers great visibility in low light and can stand up to tough conditions. I'll also be using the Hornady Dangerous Game Series DGX 400 grain ammunition. This has been my bullet of choice when using the Ruger No. 1 Tropical. Great penetration and devastating terminal performance when put in the right place. I'll also be using my Zeiss Victory 10x45 range finding binos that once again have seen some incredible action with me across the globe. Lightweight, durable and with an intuitive range finding system, these binos will help me find my quarry and my range with ease. It's the most beautiful morning in Mahimba, Mozambique, as the sun dazzles across the bush. We've decided to head out on the truck this morning to cover ground quickly, to get to parts of Mahimba we're confident we can find a waterbuck herd. We've not long arrived at our destination before we spot something in the bush. As we find a perfect spot from which to glass, it isn't easy looking directly at the rising sun. But from what we've seen moving in the bush, it's a big animal. We stay low to the ground as we move quickly through the little cover we have available. Hopefully the bright morning sun can offer us a little more cover than usual. Stopping again to glass, we can see a beautiful waterbuck as plain as day, standing amongst the bushes as the sunlight beams through the trees. This handsome representative waterbuck is looking in our direction, but doesn't seem too spooked, so we head in closer. The waterbuck stands, apparently oblivious to our presence. We get into a good position and Gavin sets up the sticks. I lock into my target, but he seems a little spooked. Before I can pull the trigger, he heads on through the bush, and it seems our chance is lost. He may well have bolted, but I search across the bush, and luckily enough, there he is. I get onto him quickly, find my target, and carefully pick my spot. The waterbuck leaps into the air, kicking his legs out backwards before bolting into the thick bush and out of sight. 
In the replay, you will notice a puff of dust as the shock connects. This is not actually the point of impact, but rather the dust from a blade of grass hit by the bullet en route to the water buck. Despite his dash for safety, I know I've made a great shot, and Gavin is happy too. Okay, so it's first thing in the morning, as you can see, the sun is still quite low in the sky. We've been hunting water buck for days and not seeing anything. And we finally see a couple of young bulls, one of which is about 23, 24 inches. Not the same size as the monster we shot in South Africa, but still, for out here in the wilderness, a nice representative bull. Uh, so I took the shot, it's roughly about 90 yards away, I believe, from here, although I'll have to check the distance. Perfectly in the shot, I saw him skip up, and he just kind of run around. So we're going to head in now, see if we can get close to him. He should be down, but uh, really, really exciting. Really good to have something first thing in the morning. So got to take it steady, just move away in there, just in case he needs another shot, but I'm pretty sure he's down. With help from our trackers, we move into the bush and look for a blood trail or any signs as to the direction of our water buck. It isn't long before the trackers have picked up the trail and have sent myself and Gavin in the right direction looking for our bull. So as you can see down the floor, on the floor here, here's two hoof prints. They're widespread, which means obviously there's some pressure going into the ground. It's a decent sized bull, it's not like, it's not like massive, but as you can see, this thing is on a, it's on a flight. It's definitely a kill shot. This is what they do when they've had a, a fatal shot. They'll run like the wind, but uh, this is a good sign. A short distance away, Gavin spots him on the ground. With safety at the forefront of his mind, Gavin steps back and lets me move in first to check the big guys down. Another bullet is waiting in the tube as I carefully move in to check my bull. He's down and out for the count. One bullet once again from the Ruger number one tropical, and my gain drops once and for all. What a nice young bull, huh? I tell you what, for, what do you say? He says about 23, 24 inches. That's right, yeah. But he's big in the body. Very much so. Not as, not as big as that uh, monster we shot uh, at, at your place in South Africa, but still, you know, a good representative bull, I think, for, for the conditions out here. Yeah, yeah. This is wild Africa after all, huh? Yeah, no, absolutely. As you can see, here's the exit wound. Um, Clearly a double lung shot there. It uh, it ran quite far given the fact that, that it has taken a shot smack in the engine room with this 450-400. You know, these dangerous game rounds have been taking stuff down pretty good, They've been causing a lot of damage, but it's still, once these animals get a little bit of adrenaline in their blood, they can fly, huh? You know, that, that is fight or flight out here, you know, in the wilderness. You know, these animals, uh, their survival instinct comes from being able to flee, even when they're wounded. This one wasn't wounded, it was fatally wounded, obviously. The yeah. shot is, is, is perfect. When the first time I yeah. saw him, he was silhouetted uh, against the sun. Um, wasn't sure whether to take the shot, uh, and then he didn't give us a shot. He kind of moved on around to the left. Yeah. And then he stood broadside. There's a little gap in between the palm trees, and I took the shot, and immediately, oh, okay. we saw him skip up on uh, his front leg skip up and then he ran like the wind yeah especially you know that shock that they get i mean they know something's wrong and especially with the big bang yeah they just take off i mean the adrenaline kicks in immediately and it as it you know it would go for uh, well, to call it 80 yards yeah but well what a fine beast it's down no really really happy with this yeah. the, the really dark um ridges on these horns here as you can see he's been fighting a little bit on as you can see on the side here yeah so he's uh yeah. these he's, young bulls look like, constantly challenge the bigger bulls i mean that's uh, to get the dominance in that. Yeah. I mean, it's got nice hooks to the front, you know, it's a nice let's, mature bull. Let's slip him over and have a look at the uh, the entry window. So as you can see here, perfect uh, textbook uh, shot, would you say, Gavin? Absolutely. Straight a third of the way at the body, directly behind the, the front leg. It took some miles, it's taken some walking, yeah. but finally uh, we've got our Mozambique wilderness waterbuck bull. So really happy, yeah. thank you, Gavin. Okay. Well and, done. And once again, now the hard work begins. <laughs> Another amazing hunt with my good friend Gavin Ingram and Anduna Hunting Safaris, as well as another phenomenal performance by Ruger No. 1. To find out more about this trusty rifle, visit vikingarms.com or click on the link for a full video review. Subscribe to Team RTV for an all new lineup of daily shows to see the best hunting videos on YouTube. Next time on Apex Predator, I'll be hunting a magnificent trophy mouflon ram in the Czech Republic. Join us in two weeks time to see if I can find myself a beautiful ram on one of the most prestigious estates in Europe.